House calling hours are underway right now for Sergeant Brian Mole. Sergeant Mole died last week in Woodbury after his state police vehicle was swept away by fast rising floodwaters during Storm Ida. He was 50 years old. Now, Sergeant Mole's casket was carried from the Munson Lovetier Funeral Home in Woodbury, the starting point for a state police procession across Connecticut. That procession traveled east along I-84, heading toward Hartford, traveling through West Hartford, where first responders stood along an overpass, saluting as their fallen comrade passed by. That rolling tribute made its way into the capital city this morning as motorcycles and state police cruisers and many more followed along in the procession. That procession ended at the Xfinity Theater in Hartford, where thousands are expected to pay their respects to Mole and his family. Fox 61's Matt Karen is live at the theater now with how the sergeant is being remembered. Matt. Yeah, hi guys. All day long, there's been a constant stream of people here at the Xfinity Theater paying their respects since about noon when the wake began. Uh, before that, the family did get some private time alone. You can see them behind me. They are still in the first couple of rows right now. Sergeant Brian Mall was 50 years old and a 26-year veteran of the Connecticut State Police. Fallen, but not forgotten. The roar of a motorcycle contingent escorted the body of Connecticut State Police Sergeant Brian Mull to Hartford's Xfinity Theater Wednesday in what begins two days of final services. Brian had um, two brothers in law enforcement. So he had a brother who was a major in the New York State Police and another brother who was a sergeant in New York State Police. So I'm sure there'll be a strong showing from the New York State Police. Um, fire departments will come. Uh, emergency medical personnel will come. And they did come from New York, New Hampshire, and in vehicles like the Wheels of Honor car. Sergeant Mull's name, the newest unfortunate addition to the vehicle that memorializes line of duty deaths. We take it to the funerals of the police officers, to the wakes, PBA days, anything to recognize the police officers so after six months their name doesn't go away, it stays on the vehicle so people remember it. Memorial or not, the people we talked to won't have any trouble remembering Brian. Brian was loving, caring, funny, we just recently, the last time we saw him was at a 4th of July event. We had a picnic all together. He was jovial and laughing, and it was good to see everybody. He was just always happy and very heartwarming and just had a soft tone to him, and his personality outshined all of us. As a state police sergeant, Brian was smart, promoted early, funny, and well-liked by all. We feel for the family, you know, you, and the loss that they have. As a person, Brian was a family man who loved his wife and three children, never missing a soccer game. It was good that the last time we did see him, we were laughing together. Sergeant Mole's life was ended by the floodwater in Woodbury, the remnants of Hurricane Ida. As the scriptures say, there's no greater love than someone who lays down their life for their friends. But his legacy will live on through the hearts and minds of all whom he touched. Obviously, we have the greatest admiration for people who are in service, public service. And for as many people as we saw here today for Sergeant Brian Mull's wake, we can expect even more people to come tomorrow for the funeral services, which are also being held here at the Xfinity Theater at 11 a.m. Uh, that's when you'll see more of the typical pomp and circumstance that comes with a line of duty death. For now, we're live in Hartford at the Xfinity Theater. Matt Karen, Fox 61 News.